So what we have here, this isn't ours, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do this, we're gonna test this. Um, you might see a unit like this on eBay or Amazon maybe. This is the upgrade version. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is supposed to be a little steam cleaner, and now if you're wondering the size, this is how big it is, okay? And uh, the person that purchased it <laughs> thought it was gonna be much bigger, and it is this big. So, there you go. Um, this is the box that it comes in. It's a basic cardboard box. Red or white? Red. So, that's about it. Okay, comes like this. Very basic. It It is as cheap as can be. So if you're looking for something just to test, I can't tell you how much they paid for it because I don't know. Um, but if you're looking for something just to test out how a steam cleaner could work or if it could actually help you, this might be a good start. You know, instead of buying a huge, you know, $100 unit, I'll give you a little baggie with the instructions. <sighs> See if there's anything... Oh, you see, this is very specific. Press the switch to one. And that would be turn the knob, because it's a knob, not a switch. You're going to turn the knob to position one to turn on the power. Hold the spray gun in your left hand. Cannot be in your right hand, just letting you know. The machine will start to spray steam for about 30 to 50 seconds. <laughs> At the same time, the water pump will make a rattling sound. So... <laughs> So here's the power cable, just do that. And I guess you don't open this reservoir here, okay? And it goes from 200 ml to 1,000, has screws. 1,000 ml, so there's two bottles of water. Two bottles of water? Yeah. Okay. And uh, has this little switch and the knob that you press. And you're supposed to turn it, whatever. Where's the water? Okay. And what has here is a very, very basic rubber plug that just plugs the, the hole. So if it does tip over or something, I don't think it's going to stop anything. So they also give you this little bag. And it has little attachments, I'm assuming. This is the handle. Caution high temperature. Caution scald. Okay. And this is plastic and then this is metal. I don't know if you what know. Did he buy this? So this you got to be really careful with because it's plastic and it will, uh, you know, if you're threading it the wrong way or whatever. So, and for me, this is going to heat up. I don't know how 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 this will do, how it'll handle. But that's basically how it goes. If you want to scrub, he bought this for the house and for work. See, this is another pledge. Plastic, plastic attachment and like I said you just I would be very careful like uh, you know attaching these screwing them on and here's a smaller plastic one and also give you a I don't know what this is so I'm assuming I'm assuming you're just gonna screw it on like that Okay, so you can have the swap out the tips. And this is loose. So I don't even know if that's how it's supposed to go, but I would assume. But then, can this attach to it? Yeah, this can attach. So that's probably how it goes. Probably. But this is loose, like I said. So, not entirely sure how well that's going to work. So what I'm gonna do, you know what, I'm gonna start with this. You're gonna fuck something up big. You're gonna fuck something up. Do, do it big, I guess. I don't know. There's a lid. It's on zero right now. Is there any, okay, there's light. And I'm holding, holding this in my left, in my left hand. What is this? I guess that's the pump. 
or, or maybe like a heater heating element. Okay, so this is on zero. Okay. Okay. Ow. What? <laughs> it is hot. <laughs> Okay, so there you go, right on the electrical cord. So I'm going to turn it off because this might need something to, it, it does get really hot, okay? It, it didn't take long and I felt it right away. So it does get hot. The problem I see is that this is, like I said, it's loose. So there has to be, yeah. There has to be something in there, in my opinion. To, uh, it's still, it's still pretty hot. There has to be something in there. I don't know if you can use some kind of like Teflon tape or like uh, something. I don't know. Okay. So I knew that was gonna happen. Now we're gonna try this one. This one is tighter, and there is something there at the bottom. Washer? Is that washer? Yeah, maybe there's supposed to be something there, and there's not. Okay. So now with the uh, standard tip, turn it on again. So it does shoot out some water. So this is on setting zero, or below zero. So that should give you an idea. Maybe you can grab a pot. So this isn't like what it's supposed to use for here. This, uh, the hose or whatever, it does heat up a little too. But does it? This is on zero. Okay, so what I don't like about this, a lot of things. But like uh, here on the unit, if any water gets in there, I mean, it's right there, right? So for me, I would ha I would say you got to be really careful. So I'm gonna this here. And it smells heavy of plastic. So I moved it to number one. And the smell of like the uh, plastic, I don't like it. Okay, I'm moving it to two to see if anything changes. And this might just be temperature, okay? So zero didn't really do much. Okay. So it is taking off some of the dirt. And this isn't like what they bought it for, but I would assume, because they show you right on these infomercials or whatever, that you could use it for anything. And as you can see, in some areas it is, it is working, it is taking some of the dirt off, it's leaving a little clean line there. But like I said, that's not what they bought it for. So you see it does do some stuff, but it seems like very little. Now this is only on setting two. I don't know if that's just temperature or what it is. Um, yeah. So there's no control here on the handle, which would be nice. So after a few seconds, this starts working. Um, I'm just here because I don't really know what else to do with it. Like I said, we didn't we didn't purchase it, someone else did, and, and we figured we'd do the video on it. Um, as you can tell, it is removing some, but it's not like a, like a wow. I think it's something like if you were to spray the cleaner on here, wipe it with a rag, it would have did the same thing. Okay. 
going to be ready to... Okay, it's already pulling. So it started pulling right away. Idiot. Alright, so <laughs> we overfilled this. It seems like it still works and it started pulling water right away. So we have this iron number. I'm going to move it. I'm going to bump it up. It, it goes up to number six. Number six. I'm going to bump it to five. And what we have here is just a grill. The grate or whatever from uh, an old grill that was just sitting back there. So I'm going to let this run. I'm going to see if it does anything here. I'm gonna say it's kind of like the idea, and by the way, wear safety glasses if you're gonna test this shit. Wear like gloves, you know, and don't point it at your fucking face or your body or something like that. This shit does get extremely hot. Even this gets hot. Okay, this, this, uh, the hose. So, what I'm gonna say, it's like the equivalent to like you get something stuck at the bottom of like a stainless steel pan, right? Where you were frying something, you put hot water on it, you might turn the, the, the burner on a little bit. It'll help to loosen it. This doesn't have any pressure adjustments. So the little amount of pressure that it was, you know, delivering, it did help to knock a few little pieces off. But you can see here. Did it really do anything? I don't think so. Um, however, they do give you attachments to help you scrub. Here, we overfill this. And this isn't a level surface. Sorry about that. That's the that's danger of working with something like this and not you know, paying attention to what you're doing. So we overflow this before. And that's the little time that you see this here. That's how much water it is. So I have one of these cute little uh, brush from my cover plate. Does it work? Um, I think first you gotta like manage your expectations. This is a uh, very small nozzle. So, and then the stream is very uh, small, short. Um, seems to be not so much pressure. Here, as you can tell, that looks like bare metal. That looks like new, okay? That looks new, and there's like like no residue on that so as you can tell I mean, there's 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 really nothing there anymore um i would say it does do the job now how hot this gets and then it's a uh, plastic attachment i feel like it's not going to last too long and not only that like what happens with these brushes right so those attachments have these brushes that are not permanent okay <clears throat> you're going to need something like this unless they sell the attachments separately fit for this and they might, but I doubt it. Those attachments, oh, I spit. <laughs> Those attachments are gonna go right away. Um, as you can probably have uh, guessed by watching me, I wasn't really putting a lot of force here to clean this. Did it work? Yes, it helped. Um, would there have been a difference um, if I would have used like more force? Um, no, I mean, maybe, you know, if you would take this and you have a bucket, this over here, the grill, the grate, you have a bucket, you pour some hot water in there, you let it soak a little bit. I'm not saying you should do that, especially if you're like cast iron or whatever. I don't know uh, what people are comfortable with. You let it soak in there for a little bit and then you take a little scrubber to it. I think it more or less would have been like the same. Now this probably heats up a hell of a lot more. There's some information here than what you can do with that little bucket, you know, or like putting it in a huge pot, boiling it, you know, something like that. Um, I don't know. I feel like there there are some advantages to this, but like I said, the stream, the amount of pressure, uh, on this unit specifically, okay? Um, the temperature, obviously, I think it's a huge advantage, um, but you have to have a lot of patience. So just for me to do this little example for you guys here, 
um, twice. It used almost an entire tank. So there you go, you know, and I just used, I used it here on this little section. That's not even the back, you know, so if it was like a bigger nozzle or if it was like, there was like an attachment that it had many holes, not just this one hole, maybe you can do a bigger area, you know, quickly and then just, you know, lightly scrape it with the brush. I don't know. For me, it's like, it depends on the cost. Now we'll update this. You know, my wife will add the little, uh, how much they paid for this unit. But for me, I guess it's like specialty. If you're using it for something small, right? If you're using it to like maybe clean tools or, or, or something, uh, something small, like a small area of something that you need to get into and you think that this is gonna maybe help. It might, there's a little bit of pressure, right? But that's about it. So if you do, if you are interested in this unit in particular on eBay or Amazon, you see it and you're wondering, well, that's what it can do. That's how it works. That's how it operates. So if you guys did watch this, thanks. We have a lot of other different kind of videos, uh, reviews, gaming, a lot of uh, different random stuff. So very unprofessional. So if you're interested, go ahead and check them out. Thanks.